Hi, welcome to Creative Crafts and I'm Kathy. Today we are going to make a vase out of cement and glass. Very easy. Um, I suggest that when you put the cement in, make sure you have the top hat that you use, like something like this, like we're going to use today. I'm using a old bottle piece for the form. And make sure that you wherever you want to put the cement, all right? I don't want to put it all the way down. I just want to have it just above here so you can see some of the glass. Get some tape and tape it very well. I'm not sure what kind of tape I bought this time, but it looks like it's going to be pretty strong. I hope it is. So, and just, you know, tape it up pretty well. Make sure it's not crooked. Um, let's go like this. So you have to make sure in the middle it's, you know, that it's in the middle or here. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is it's going to end up um, mounting crooked and you don't want that. So go around, make sure you cover it up pretty good, make sure it's even. Like I said, check it out. And once you know you got some tape on it, you can finally make sure you rub it pretty well onto the glass area so the cement doesn't come and seep down. Need one more piece. And see how this looks? You have to make sure that it's perfect on all ways. If it's not perfect, what's going to happen is um, you're going to have a lopsided vase. This I probably will just use for like one flower or I might even stick some uh, lights inside here. You could do that too. So we'll see what we're going to do with this one. Looks pretty good to me. When I'm done with all this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably stick one of these on here and in in, on top of here. They're stickers and I got them for one euro in Teddy. Everyone in Germany, don't forget, Teddy is the place to go. Yeah. And now the next step is making the cement. So let's do that. The next step is mixing the cement. I have my water. This is normal cement. Just normal cement. You don't need to add, um, buy any special cement for this. You can use totally normal cement. Any kind. So what I'm going to do is pour some of it inside this container. Uh, that may be too much, but it's okay. If I have too much, I can make another bottle. So put that aside. Don't breathe in the fumes. Don't make a mess. Make sure there's no clumps in it. And what you do is you add the water to it. You need to keep adding water until it's not like really runny. It has to be like a, a little bit of a thick pancake batter, a little bit thicker than that. What you do now is you take your mixture you can use a spoon if you want and pour it in. Try to be slow about it. Don't do too, don't do it too quick. You don't want it to get in through the hole where the area like I just did. So what you can do now is you have to go like this so all the air pockets. few times like you see me here doing there and what you do now is put this aside and let it dry harden and we go to the next step once it's dried so the next step for this project is sanding it down it dried it's dried now it doesn't look the best right now but you can just put it to the side take some sandpaper 
and smooth it out. So what I will do is now take a towel, make sure it's a little damp, you don't want the particles to be going around everywhere, and just swipe it down a little bit. So you can check and see if this is how you want it. Sometimes the cement needs a little bit more time to um, dry, uh, harden. Sometimes you have that. Um, I think I had it too watery. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But now it's time to do the top part. Make it flatten as much as you can. So here you see the new the, the end product from this tutorial. All I did is like you saw is I don't want to put it too close. I'm gonna shut the light off. I have it here. So there you go. That's without the lights on. It was very easy to sand down the cement. Very important that you sand it down, all loose particles, make sure there's nothing on it. You can even use a vacuum around it to make sure, and then I'll take a wet cloth and wipe it around. I put a jute a material around the bottle, cut it up to a, well, not too thick, because I wanted to have both place the cement and the glass showing. And then I took a little orange ribbon, wrapped it around it too, and on top of the bottle pot where I told you I didn't have enough cement, this is just the second bottle I made. Then I glued some flowers and a little Victorian symbol, like I said, where I got it from the beginning, I got it from Teddy. If you have any questions or comments, please write them below. I would love to hear from you. And if you have not subscribed, please do. I would love to have you in my little family. And um, if you want to have notifications of any new videos, press that little tiny bell on the side and you'll get notified as soon as I put one out. And also, thank you guys, and I love you all. Thank you all for subscribing. I finally have 50 subscribers. Woohoo! Awesome. I'm so happy about that. I love you all, and um, see you next time. Bye.